Hello, today we are going to learn about how to create a Google Compute Engine which means virtual machine instances. Okay, for that if you go to the navigation menu and if you come down slightly here if you see under the compute block you will find compute engine and then VM instances. Once you click on this it will open this window. Okay, so here if you wanted to create a new VM instances, see this is a uh, dashboard it has uh, if you see here this is already created instance it will show, the, show you the list of instances created now we are going to create a new instance click on the create instance and then you see here um, here uh, if you see uh, we have three types of uh, instance creation methods were there that is you can create a, a scratch um, instance from scratch or you can uh, create a VM instance from existing template or you can create a VM instance from an existing machine image as well okay so as of now we will uh, start one by one so uh, now I'm going to create a uh, VM um, instance from scratch okay so here uh, I'm going to give instance one mm, I'm just uh, modifying the name uh, as per my requirement uh, just BT learn I'll give uh, as which means a uh, base tech learn okay so here you see uh, we can select a region as per our requirement whatever it may be you can select I'm just selecting US West to Los Angeles okay so here uh, if you see we have a zones a b c y you can select a zone as per your requirement where you are uh, located into that you can select or else uh, to which client i mean the client is under which location which is the nearby zone, zone that also you can select as per the requirement you see the cost will get a vary as per the region and zone okay uh, now uh, sorry uh, you go to the select uh, machine family you see here we have machine configuration under that we need to select a machine family you see here we have general purpose compute optimized memory optimized GPU we have four options uh, everything have a, uh, their own uh, I mean features okay now we are going to create a simple one that is general purpose for general purpose I am going to create uh, selecting CPU platform selection based on availability that is E2 I am going to select uh, I am going to select here E2 micro okay uh, as far as it is for a demo purpose I am just uh, taking a small one which is having see only eight dollars eight point five four dollars uh, the item consists of two virtual CPUs and one GB memory okay and 10 GB balanced persistent disk is available okay so here um if you slightly come down next we have a lot of steps we will see uh, here CPU platform and GPU is also there if you want you can select uh, as of now I am not going to select which is a basic one I am going to create if you wanted to uh, use a screen capturing or recording tools then enable it otherwise just leave it and then uh, confidential VM service is there right now I am not enabling it because it is not required for me and the container also I'm not going to deploy any container okay uh, just uh, it is creating with the instance I'm going to create now see here boot disk it has a four types of uh, boot disk were there if you just click on the change button it has see you can create a boot disk uh, by using public image or custom image or from snapshots or archival snapshots or from existing disk anything you can as per the requirement you need to select it so as of now I'm taking a default one I'm going to create a VM instance from public images which has an operating system is Debian and the version is Linux 11 bulls I and the boost uh, sorry boot disk type is persistent uh, balanced persist persistent disk okay so you can select standard or extreme or SSD persons persistent disk we will see in the later on videos what uh, what exactly it means okay now I am going to show you only balanced persistent disk size is 10 GB just select this one this is about a boot disk now uh, we have to give a IAM that is identity and API access so right now I am going to take a service account is compute engine default service account and then next uh, you have to select access scope 
whether you want to uh, give access to the default access or you wanted to allow full access to all cloud APIs or set of uh, access for each API. So whatever it may be, you can give uh, as per the requirement. Now, we, if you wanted to access this VM instance through the internet, then uh, click on the allow HTTP traffic and HTTPS traffic. You can see here all the advanced options that is networking, disk, security management and sole tenancy. Okay, we have lot of options are available here. I am um, just going through brief about each section. Uh, you see I am just come down slightly. Yeah, networking. See here you can define a host name and network interfaces. Okay, what are the network tags you are going to use? Everything you can give it. One second. Yes, so here based on tags you can identify the networking and the host name. Uh, you can give it. These all are optional, so I am not selecting anything. Just showing how, uh, what are the options are available right now. Okay, so and network interfaces what are available. It will, uh, as of now, it will show you the default one. Uh, 10.168.0.0 uh, slash 20 uh, I'm taking the default one the next section is disks uh, see here the disk we can have a multiple uh, options like you can add a new disk or attach existing disk as well uh, we will see uh, in the next session uh, I mean later on sessions like uh, how to create a disk and uh, how many kinds of uh, creation of disks were there that all we will see right now I'm not taking any disk and security as well you see here in security also it will provide a default turn on VTPM and integrated monetary monitoring this all it is taking default one and VM access also if you see here by default when you connect to a virtual machine using this console or Google Cloud uh, use uh, your uh, SSH keys are generated automatically it will create it will automatically generate you no need to generate anything uh, explicitly okay so now uh, if you comes to the management here you have lot of things uh, if you wanted to provide any description for what kind of purpose you are creating a VM instance that also you can give it and the deletion also option also there you see enable deletion protection if you enable this then no one can uh, delete your instance you can see when deletion protection is enabled instance can't be deleted okay so which will be secure highly secure no one can uh, delete it until you make the changes okay mm, then uh, reservation policies uh, here I'm um, just taking uh, automatically use created reservations I don't want to uh, take any specific reservations okay if you wanted to create any startup script uh, when you uh, are uh, started the instance then you wanted to execute some startup script then you can write it here I'm just uh, just for uh, example purpose I'm just writing uh, here it is a uh, slash uh, and then uh, just go to the bin folder and then bash okay and next command has to execute apt hyphen get update and then the next command is apt get apt get install hyphen y apache 2 just this is the startup script whenever the instance is running first uh, it has to execute these comments and then it will go to the, for, uh, perform the next steps okay so this is what I'm going to uh, give if you want to add a metadata you can add it otherwise not required and the availability policies also uh, you can give the standard one and migrate virtual machine if, if you wanted to give on host maintenance then that also you can select if you wanted to automatic uh, restart then you can enable it otherwise you can just off it uh, now it is okay uh, I'm just giving on okay now uh, go to select um, next option what is available we will see just come down slightly ha, see here the sole tenancy also available if you want I'll just explore it Mm, as of now node uh, affinity labels out there that if you want you can give it now I am not giving anything just try to click on create so that it will create a new virtual machine so which means that the, uh, you are going to create a google compute engine 
now see it is still loading it will get created we will see you understand right so bt learn i created just now that it is creating it will take few seconds to create uh, once it is create uh, then we will elaborate and see what how what are the configurations we given and how does it perform and how do we connect it to the ssc see it is established now vm instance is created just click on that uh, or else before that you see what zone we selected us west 2a and uh, as of now preserve state size is 0 G gb and then see here what are the internal ips external ips by default uh, the system has taken and what are the network tags we haven't given anything so that it has taken uh, default network tags okay http server and http server uh, https server here if you wanted to connect establish a connection we have lot of options either it may be you can uh, use ssh client or g cloud command or you can use a browser window as well okay if you just click on ssh window it will uh, go i mean navigate into the browser uh, by default and then there you if you want any operations like uh, you wanted to change the startup script or uh, sorry uh, startup uh, message or inside the um, uh, your application uh, code anything then you can do it over there okay now uh, just see just allow read this click on this instance demo and then we will uh, just verify it what we have done see this what are the machine configuration basic information it is available what are the networking and uh, boot disk what boot disk boot disk we have given everything is available here i hope you understood well about this uh, how to create a compute engine uh, which means that a uh, vm instance creation so if you do like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel so that you will get more updates in the next video we will see how to um, uh, perform a connection i mean ssh connection and how to delete the instance uh, from a um, uh, compute engine okay then yeah thank you